Hi everyone, this is Talti and this video is going to be a quick one about scales because scales are usually very important but commonly overlooked so I wanted to talk a little bit about it and it's also to show off that I made the same cake in two different scales and I think it's very very cute I really really love them, they are adorable and try to notice this is an approximately 112 scale and this one is 1 sixth this is the scale I use for earrings and this one for pendants. If you notice the differences apart from the whole size, things need to be proportionate to the scale you are using so that they look realistic, otherwise they don't look very natural. So look how the cherry is through the scale with the cake and even the chocolate shavings are made to scale. These are slightly smaller, these are bigger that kind of thing, so no, look at them, they are just so adorable you don't need to know a lot of maths to understand the scales it's very easy one one will be a real size scale one two will be a half size scale, so if you have anything it will be half size when you miniaturize it one three will be one third, so you are making it one third of the real size and so on, it's not very complicated this is, like I said, about 1 sixth. This is a little bit smaller than 1 twelfth. If you're making jewelry, it doesn't matter if you're making an exact scale as long as you keep everything proportionate. But if you're making dollhouse props or miniatures or whatever, the scale is everything because it needs to go well together, they need to look good together, they need to look... You don't want a 1 12 dollhouse that has a 1-6 cherry that looks extremely big so that's mostly the importance of scales it's not difficult at all, it's not big science, it's not maths but it's very overlooked if you really really don't like maths, which I know a lot of you don't you can also use a reference table like the one I made here this one is everything from 1 -fifth to 1 -twelfth. the most used are 1 -sixth and 112, 116 for ball jointed dolls and 112 for doll houses, for traditional doll houses. One third I think is also used for bigger ball jointed dolls, but it's really too big for me so that I don't use it. The table includes everything in regular increments from half centimeter to 30 centimeters. And I'm sorry if you use inches, but I don't like inches, the metric system really rules. But I didn't forget about you. Here is for a standard cake and pie size. As far as I know, this is the standard size in most places, which is 30 centimeters or 12 inches. It may change according to your country, region, area, traditions, whatever. So just change accordingly, but for that size, here is the size for a cake or pie in 1 fifth to 1 twelfth. This is a quick reference sheet in centimeters and inches. It also includes this pretty reference for size cakes, everything from 1 fifth to 1 twelfth. This is really useful also to cut cakes. This is what I use to cut my slices evenly and straight. I will show you how to use it later. If you want to download this, you can do so. It's only one piece of paper. It's very useful and let me know if it's helpful for you. You can find it in my DeviantArt account. Just don't steal it because, you know, that's not very nice. But it goes without saying. I think that's it. I hope it was useful. I hope it was clear. It's really not a big science, but I feel it's usually overlooked. Sometimes you find things like cakes with this ridiculously big cherries or something. Just try to keep it in mind, try to use your intuition to know if something is too big or too small, except if you are making a commission for uh, for an exact scale or for dollhouses. Collectors are very special with the scales. Keep that in mind and let me know if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and updates and everything. And let me know what you want to see. And um, this is Tati and I'll see you later. Bye bye.